In the West Bank village of Bilin, peace activists have been meeting to discuss non-violent resistance to the building of the Israeli separation wall. The conference also aims to highlight the continued expansion of Israeli settlements. The Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad attended the conference and said he's confident that the building of illegal settlements will soon come to an end. Al Jazeera's Nur Ode has more. An international conference on grassroots resistance convenes in Belayim for the third year. More than 40 years after the start of Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza, organizers say this is an opportune time to celebrate and promote non-violent resistance of Israeli occupation and illegal land seizure. And to struggle for peace and to struggle against the occupation is the same struggle and not two different things. Nonviolent protest has paid off in Belayin. For three years, Palestinian, Israeli and international campaigners held weekly demonstrations and campaigned against Israel's separation wall, which threatened to separate Belayin from 60% of its land. In September 2007, Israeli Supreme Court ruled the path of the wall must change. The Belayin Conference also aims to draw international attention to continued illegal Israeli settlement expansion, something that some delegates believe should have a direct effect on Israel's standing in the world. It's not time to agree to upgrade the Israeli relationship, trade relationship, uh, political relationship, when Israel is not respecting not only the agreement that is making with the Palestinians, but it's not respecting the agreement it's making for us. So we are really clearly saying, no, Israel does not deserve to have the grade in our relationship. Palestinian Prime Minister Salam Fayyad has spearheaded efforts to prevent the European Union from strengthening economic ties with Israel while increased settlement activity is taking place. The Israeli society must understand that its leadership has attempted all military and colonization solutions and failed. This leadership has no choice now but to commit to a just political settlement based on international law and resolutions and on the principle of ending the...